you will be watching me play Hand of Faith. This adorable little card game, game with that turns into a sort of a duck crawl. I don't know what's the word I'm looking for here? It um procedurally generated dungeons. It's like a It's like a one player D D game. It's you against the DM. I'm sorry about that. There we go. In here. I've played this before Oh, that's loud. It has been some time since you last sat at the table. Oh, I've come off it. I've been playing on my Xbox, and you lay off me. Because as you can see, the graphics here aren't that great. Well, let's get into it. The more I wonder. I know it's not computers, just that my graphics are that bad. Sorry. Still trying to add some of this here. Oh. Sorry about that. Story mode. What do story mode? I haven't tried endless mode, but I imagine it'll be endless. Choose your next opponent. Jack of scales. The suit of scales are represented by these lizard men. Why See what I got here. Patient, lethally subtle and coldly intelligent. Uh, sure. Of all the creatures I have incarnated as suits, these please me the most. Yeah, it looks good. Hmm. I like that one. That's actually new here. Win, but wrestling you meet resting progress close to the edge of being you meet it. It's a show man who sees light to meet you. I already drop a lot of equipment. Ooh. You're stronger than that. Eating, moving over, completing. Counter, because no, no, that's actually pretty awesome right there. Hoarders dire, grow stronger the more you care. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Hoarders drink the more equipment in your hoard, the more health you have. Hoarding power, the more you do more damage in combat when you have spare equipment. Awesome. Gold gang cards have back for slaying. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be going up against the dead, but I'll be trying this one here. Symbols, but 
now we begin to play in earnest. My scepter is at stake, and I do That's really going fast. To lose it. Sorry. Severe arachnophobe. I did not see that coming. Or are you stuck? Or are you just that many cards? By the way, <laughs> I don't know if on the table is made. He's not touching the cards at all. He just. Why am I here? Why am I playing this game of fate? I didn't realize how many cards I've collected throughout this game. Here we go. I have saved the lizard men for now, but the stakes have been raised. There is no weapon I will not use against you. Helpful priest. You meet a wandering priest in a friendly manner. Give the priest your food. Choose from these options. I think it's this one that's a huge success. Yes! <laughs> you speak the language of an old religion for the message it touched your head. It is done. Bless the cards. Many of these when their player eats food, they the get twice speed. the usual. Oh, yes. The gods look upon me faithful. Retribution. One of the players struck by a ranged attack, there's a chance they attack your waist on three seconds. Yes! Okay, and as I move around, here you can see on the corner, I have old food and health. Each time I move, it's like I'm traveling, I have to eat one of my food reserves. Let's see, there it goes. Twisted Canyon. Oh. You see what glinting in the light next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon? Pretty early in the game. And again, I think I do have a pretty good sword. Well, even for now, I can't hurt that this early, this early in the game. Could have been a good weapon, but I don't want to try. I don't want to risk it right now. There we go. So now I can the recollection of a closed marketplace amongst your treasured memories. Win this and claim my token. You read me kind of the eagle on the market bit day. The market vendors are buying food today. They are selling food, but the amount of gold you receive is not guaranteed. You place half your food in a side brought by one of the vendors instead. Back to the await the end of the day's trading. The cards took not yours. I think if I run out of food I start to take health damage. Yours. You can take it. I should be not gold. I don't know why that's pale here. <laughs> Do not let your supplies run so short. You are on risky ground. 
Devil's Carnival. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. When just as dusk gathers, you reach a large country town hosting a traveling circus. Inside the strange smell, you begin to wander between the tents and stalls, brightly colored, but now faded with stained dust. Almost like wonder streets and things and past wonder and amazements seem almost dazed. There's something about plants that dulls your senses for a while you forget your quest and forget even the path you were to this place. Sensing a hidden mouse, but they should try and turn, turn to find a way back. You somehow lift your way, heading further into crowds. The mysteries of the camera await you. This is going bad. The way we read food, charge to a man sitting before a large glass. As you watch, the head of a pressed large snake rises, tongue forked and flicking the air. Suddenly, the snake turns and lashes out. You react, striking the creature's head. The dead body thrashes around the ground, then the man leaps up. Murderer! Curse you, murderer! A crowd gathers as the man continues to you quickly walk away before trouble starts. Trollmonger's car. Let's combat see the... how you progress with that millstone around your neck. Oh. Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. Still, I'm keen to see how you handle your disadvantages. An expedition. I feel a lot better in this card game, so there wasn't so much lag. Take the force path. I will mention this game is a either um... I appreciate your efforts. I worked hard on this game. It is a pleasure to see you play. A <laughs> ship at dock is worth nothing until it sails. This game is free on um first off there on a Xbox Live if you guys want to play. Are your senses acute enough to detect what lies here? And now, when there's battles, you start entering the world. Which I hope my game can handle it, because it's kind of graphical intensive. Come on, look with me. There we go.
one. I remember I was playing this now because the lag was killing me in battle. Please be food. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Food. Yes. I can kill another five squares. You grow off the beam trail. You find a traveling merchant willing to trade with wandering adventurers. Approach the shop. Approach the shop. Green wise traveler, I'm much to offer you. Oh, I have lots of stuff I can buy from him. Lots of money. How much food, though? So I might just spend it all on food. I'm glad you guys tune in and watch me pick my nose. There's not many of you right now, but I'm happy for every single one of you that do watch. Some of you I even know by name. <laughs> Chemical silver, dragon. Lizardman. Yeah. A tool with a very specific but useful purpose. Not much use if you're not facing lizards, though, eh? <laughs> uh, sorry, that struck me as funny. Loves DM though. I think if I run out of food, then my uh, the game's over because well I started on the road. I forgot it's been it's been a while. Even on the Xbox version, it's been a while since I played. No, nah, bro, I'm I'm broke. All the merchant cards ended up. Dead Man's Gorge. I'm sure it's not called Dead Man's Gorge without reason. I'm sure it's fine. Ambush. I hope you guys can free of the uh, lag. I am looking to rectify this soon.
Y'all gonna have a bad day. Game over. Death. Blood stains the ground beneath your corpse. Well, that's I'm gonna cut it for right now because would rather die this game is just. Of scales. I'm afraid that is where this round ends. So Wait, I'll, I'll at least. I'll at least see the kind of I got. Because you always do gain something from this. You win or lose. <laughs> All right, these are the cards that I can get. These will add to a different adventure. So even if you die horribly due to lag, you still get something out of it. For exploring rooftop hill, you receive. That's gonna be interesting in the future. And all those cards just get piled right in there. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.